From the rivers to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the rivers to the sea, Palestine will be free of homosexual men. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of radical feminists. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of radical left-wing butch feminists. <clears throat> From the river to the sea, Palestine will remain free of all gender conf confusion. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of debates about pronouns. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of drag queens in public libraries. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of all of these things. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of economic progress, stability, etc., etc. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free of all these things. It will be free to rot and fester in its backward culture, its culture of hatred. It will be free to just rot there and rot. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. But, but what of Ireland? What's going to happen to Ireland? Ireland is going to continue. It's going to continue to destroy itself. The Irish people. They will continue to do what they have done. They won't just sit back and let their country be destroyed. They will actively engage in destroying it themselves. And soon, perhaps a generation, two generations, Ireland would be a gulag. It would be an open prison along with England and France and Germany. And I find myself thinking, what if we, we have Jews in Ireland, but just a tiny number. What if we had hundreds of Jews in Ireland? What if we had thousands of Jews in Ireland? Tens of thousands. If we had hundreds of thousands of Jews, if we had a million or two Jews in Ireland, if Ireland was a Jewish state, would the Jews of Ireland sit back and allow their country to be destroyed? Oh no. Oh no, the Jews of Ireland if we had a Jewish state and a Jewish people, they would be fighting back. They would be fighting back with a vengeance.
from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free in its own perverse backward, backward way. And Ireland will be gone. It won't even be a distant memory. It will be a dystopian, gulag nightmare. And one day, the people of Ireland, the children of Ireland, they will look to Israel. They will look to a prosperous, strong, resilient Israel. And they will think, if only our fathers, if only our grandfathers had fought like the Jews, we could be free, we could be strong like Israel. <clears throat> you know, Israel is going nowhere. Israel is going to prevail. Israel is going to remain strong. The Jews are going nowhere. If you're waiting for the Jews to walk to their own slaughter, you'll be waiting a long time. Israel is here to stay. And Israel will survive. And if in the fullness of time, given the level of anti-Semitism that's sweeping over the West, if in the fullness of time Israel were to go down, it will take everyone else with them. If at some point in the distant future Israel should fall, the entire Arab world will fall with it. Israel is going nowhere. The Jews are going nowhere. But Ireland, well, like I said, we don't have enough Jews in Ireland. If only we had Jews, if we had thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of Jewish men and women in Ireland. Things would be very different. Long live Israel. Shalom. <laughs>